I know I'm a day late, but. I was going to give you this on Sunday, but I, Ruby, 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 oh God, I feel like there's two directors. Because we got a whole episode, and I feel like it took two different directions in the directing. The first seven and a half minutes was terrible. I'm not going. I just was like. Like the messaging was terrible. Like. So Hazel's junkie? Because it's dust. It's in crystal form, but it's dust. What are you trying to say? I don't rush your teeth. Hmm? Trying to tell kids to shoot up? Really? That's what we're doing now? I was teased in my video. Crow showed that he's, he's useless. Like, like... I expect Osmond to get bored. He's in a kid's form. Kid body got shared, drains energy to take over. John Simmons wasn't what we thought. It, it wasn't. It wasn't what we thought, but it, it's cool enough, I guess. And then Blake showed up with everybody was really excellent. When they, I'm expecting. I didn't come alone. Yeah, where I was like, oh shoot, it's finna. And it just, I didn't get that. What happened? Like, all right, enough about that. Let's get to the best five minutes of the entire episode. Cinder with stolen fall maiden powers versus Raven with the given to her spring maiden's powers. That was badass. That was bad. As my kids watched that, I might throw a clip on that. And Shout out, Step. <laughs> but it was like, oh snap! Literally, to me, it reminded me of Goku versus Vegeta when Vegeta. Uh, use Majin, the, the power of the Majin Buu or uh, Babidi to uh, go Super Saiyan 2. So he started trying to catch up to to Goku. That's how badass that fight was. And it was needed because the first seven and a half minutes was terrible. I don't know who thought of that. Don't let the new guy direct anymore. Don't let him direct anymore. Whoever directed the fight scene Freaking awesome. That was badass. Cinder with the grim arm. The ultimate ice sword versus the ultimate fire sword. And then when they swap weapons, it still was going down. It was like, yo, bro. It's like, yo. And I was, of course, I was rooting for Raven. I didn't even like Raven. It's a bad example. You just abandon your daughter like that. So, that was, I was like, Raven put them hands to it. Put them hands, but she had to. You, you just can't let this chick die because of you. And you don't want the person that killed the chick to die because of you. That's real foul. But man, that was a good fight. And then she did the uh, freaking Sub Zero finish move at the end. Shout out to Varnell for being a trooper. Get the last shot in. Uh, it still sucked how you died because you surely wasn't a spring maiden. And you evidently didn't have any aura to try to heal yourself. But that was badass. She tried to shoot her. She blocked it. Boom. 
knocked off the plat platform, and she just finished him. <sighs> Cinder's not dead. By any means, do not think the Cinder's dead. Just know that. But until next episode, we'll see. Hopefully, the directing takes a better <sighs> direction. Pun intended. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, be some blessings. I say.